Hello everyone, my name is Mendel Beidelei. I'm a mixing master engineer and a composer from the Netherlands. I'm really happy to showcase the new Gig Performer 4. Here we go. All right, so in front of me I have Gig Performer 4. So Gig Performer 4 is an awesome standalone plugin host, where in my opinion, sky's the limit. So you can make your whole chain, if you can think it, you can make it with your favorite EQs, your favorite synths or amp sims or anything basically, and make your perfect tone for either like on the road or have like in the studio session. You can just basically put it on your laptop, bring it wherever you want, and there's your perfect crafted tone. So I made some cool presets that I used in the demo song. So we're going to dive into those and I'll show you my thought process behind it. So here we go. Now the cool thing in my opinion is like Gig Performer 4 is like a mind map for musicians. So I thought of a certain concept and instantly I could drag stuff along, get like EQs and pedals that I had in my head, put them there and build it from there. So here's what I did. So let's go, uh, let's just first check the sound and then we'll go uh, step by step. So this is the intro patch. Awesome sound. Let's uh, put everything on bypass and we'll go from the top to the bottom. So this is my MIDI in, this is my keyboard and it goes straight into the BX Oberhaus, an awesome synth. And what I did, I used the pads in rhythm preset and I turned off the effects, um, the effects uh, channel or strip and just used the, uh, the synth by itself. So this is what it sounds raw basically. Just like that. And then I thought, would it be cool to use like a, a guitar distortion pedal um, on the tone, but parallel? And I just dragged lines and it was possible. So we have the Oberhausen and it goes straight to the uh, SSL uh, uh, 4KE. But parallel to that, as you can see, is the Green Screamer. So this is what it sounds without the Green Screamer. So the Green Screamer. Uh, bypassed. And when I turn it on, it really adds, in my opinion, that nice, like, distorted grittiness that uh, sounds really cool, in my opinion. Let's check it again. And if I turn the pedal off, really clean, but I thought it would be nice to have some grit there. So that's parallel um, going to the green screamer and that is going as well into the, well, I think we can all agree one of the most amazing plugins, the uh, SSL channel, the E channel. When I was playing with this, it sounds cool, but um, in my opinion, it sounded a bit too dark and hopefully you agree, but this button is like a magical button, the SSL, like the top the high-end button for me, like on snare and kick drums or guitars or anything, basically, it sounds good. So I added a fair amount, like 12 decibels. I filled it up some lows because I wanted it almost like a hi-fi sound kind of thing. That's a bit of the high. So this is without the SSL. Again, a bit dark in my opinion, but watch what happens when I turn it on, especially this thing. I, I love this. Here we go. like really nice and bright in your face. Like if I turn this knob down. Now imagine doing that 30 years ago, like on the stage, I'm gonna get that SSL channel live somewhere on stage because I, I think like taking this on the road or even in the studio with you, like you can make your whole chain your favorite tone, save it, take it anywhere with you and just use it live or, in the, or somewhere in the studio where you have to go or live on stage anywhere. But the cool thing is you can shape your whole tone. Like we're living in an age now where 
basically you can think it and you can create it. I was thinking like, okay, this synth sounds cool, but how cool would it be to put an SSL 10 on there? And there it is. So that goes into the digital version three. There was some high frequency on there. And again, like imagine trying to do this years ago or trying this with just one, um, one older keyboard or for an example. I mean, the options are endless. Like the only limit, in my opinion, is your own imagination. So again, with the Oberhausen green screen parallel to that, both go into the SSL and we have the digital V3 because there was some frequency whistling. Some good headphones or speakers, you can definitely hear there was some whistling over there. And then the last thing, oh, I love this. This is the delay 2500. Watch what happens. So I'll just grab a chord. So that's without it. And when I turn it on, makes it like wide and spacey. I mean, like, isn't this like the dream for any keyboard player? You can basically make your whole ideal tone with all the effects and send that to front of house. And then basically the only thing the sound guy has to do, or you can talk with your sound guy, like shape your whole tone. It would be perfectly for the live gig and send it to front of house. Love it. So that's basically it. So this is again with everything bypassed. And everything turned on. How can you not love this? Seriously. So that was the intro patch. Now the main lead patch. And the cool thing is, so this whole thing is MIDI programmable. And I have my iPad over here with, with just a simple OSC uh, software. And you can use any MIDI controller with this and you can set it up. But the cool thing is, and this would be perfectly for live or switching during a song or something. Um, I have it so set up. So this is that synthy sound we just heard. Gotta love that tail. And when I want to switch, I just press that button and there it is. There's my different sound. How cool is that? Just by using this, you can switch between whole chains. Awesome. So this is the, uh, the synth pad. So let's mute everything again. So this is the NIF Audio Nifonium. Phenomenal synthesizer in my opinion. I love this thing to death. So I just used the Super Saw Pad uh, preset and here and yeah here is something something cool going on so as you may know the ADA flanger plugin has two different models it has the 1979 model and it has the 2009 model so just an idea like the, the thing is I looked at this and just thought like okay could it be possible it's easy to do so let's do something inspiring that I've never done. So I just put the 2009 model to the console, to the uh, SSL. And then parallel to that, I use the 79 model. Now here's how the synth sounds like uh, without anything. This is the synth. This is the 79 on bypass, uh, bypass turned off. Hopefully you can already hear it. Let's do that again. So I'll just play an arpeggio. Turn it on. So it already makes it a bit softer and perhaps even a bit wider. And when I add the 2009 one, like a really sharp high end is is lessened, which I personally really like. And it sounds like almost like further away, but also a bit deeper if it makes any sense. Like I'll bypass both of them. Uh, 
And when I turn them on... It gets a whole different sound. Now again, since I love this plugin to death, I added that, uh, but a cell one, a bit of filtering, bit of high uh, roll off, add some tiny bit on the top end. You might say it's counterintuitive, but I like how it sounds. Like, and also the upper mids over here. And that's basically it. Like th this one is pretty simple, but still I, I I made it within like a couple of minutes because I felt really inspired. It was like clicking different things really fast and this is what came out and I love it. So everything on bypass. And bypass turned off. Phenomenal, in my opinion. Absolutely love it. So one of the cool, amazing features in Gig Performer 4 is global rec spaces. And sky's the limit, because I could put a cool preamp plugin in here, go to rec spaces, so it goes to here. Or how I have it set up now, my rec spaces have from rec spaces into the SPL Iron, easily one of my favorite compressors, going into my output. So as you can see, this is the SPL Iron. And the cool thing about this is, so when I go to panels, I have these two knobs and these two knobs are linked to the SPL Iron plugin. And it's, it's the easiest thing ever because I can press edit, drag any knob I want. And the only thing I have to do is click on it and learn parameter, turn any knob. And as you can see here, it automatically detects the parameter that I want to link it to. So I have it on threshold and the other one I have on SPL Iron output. So when I use my synth, I'm getting nicely compressed by the SPL Iron, as you can see. And since I have my synth linked to my, uh, to my MIDI, to my MIDI uh, controller. During this, I can just switch. <laughs> and everything is getting nicely compressed by the compressor. And you can put anything on there. So sky's the limit, amazing feature. So those are some, uh, some cool things you can do with Gig Performer 4. Make sure you check it out. And uh, my name is Mendel, see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.